give and extend honors to his illustrious love thought made manifest in the form of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. I would like to also extend honors to Marcus Garvey, the harbinger, who said, up ye mighty nation and accomplish what ye will, um, leading to the prophet being divinely prepared and um, standing on a milk crate on the south side of Chicago and saying, come all ye Asiatics and learn the truth about yourselves, that you are not Negro, Black, colored, or Ethiopian, but that you are Moorish American Muslims. Islam? Islam. I would like to also extend honors to all Supreme Grand Sheiks, both, all Supreme Grand Sheiks, both past and present. I would like to also extend honors to all governors, um, all Sheiks, all Grand Sheiks, all Sheikhesses, all Grand Sheikhesses, all Adopts, all faithful members, I would like to also extend an honor to all of our sympathizers. I would like to also extend honor to our haters as, all, as well, because a soldier never knows his strength without a foe. Islam, Islam. Islam. I would like to also extend honor to the L's and Bays and Islam. Islam. So, uh, excuse me. I would like to uh, basically give a small demonstration today on um, the divine um, constitution and bylaws. Um, I want to begin by asking the question today, what is an act of Allah? When we study the Moorish American Science Temple of America's Divine, uh, constitution and bylaws, I think sometimes we overlook the small things in them, which are the, uh, the definitive meanings of what the actual words actually mean. So we're going to cover some of those tonight. Um, first, I want to begin by uh, writing down these three words, divine, Again, by giving some of the uh, etymologies of uh, these three words. Divine means from or like Allah, excellent or delightful, comes from the Latin word divinus or, or divis, or from the French word deuce. It also means to have supernatural or magical insight into the future events. In the chapter on religion, it said that, uh, that Allah has futurity and pre -science. Um, I want to deal with the word constitution. The etymology of constitution is a body, a body of fundamental principles according to which a state or other organization is, is acknowledged or governed. It is also the composition of something's compos, um, configuration of for, or formation. A person's physical state with regards to vitality, health, or health and strength. A person's mental state or psychological state. The prophet came to free us from mental, mental slavery with our constitution. Bylaws. The etymology of bylaw is a rule made by a company or society to control the actions of its members. Acts 1 through 7. A regulation made by a local authority or ordinance. The etymology of ordinance is a piece of legislation enacted by a municipal authority. 
an authoritative order or decree, a, prescribed, a, a prescribed religious rite, observance, ritual, ceremony, or service. I want to also draw off on an ancient um, Sanskrit word that means to act. Ajat. This is how it's written in Sanskrit. Ayati, or Ajati means to, in Sanskrit, it means to act. It's a 14th century word derived from the word actus, which means actus or actum, derived from the Latin word ahir or agir. Pronounced ahir. Later translated, later, later translated into uh, modern Latin as agir. which was translated to, in today's English as actum or actus and translated in English as the word act. The etymology of the word ayati is a thing done, made done, a doing, a driving impulse, a setting in motion, a part in a play, to drive, to lead, to urge, to conduct, to drive forward. It also means as a verb, I do act, I do make, I behave, I accomplish, I, I perform, transact, drive, conduct, push, move, impel, discuss, plead, deliberate, think, um, guide, govern, and administer. It also means to occupy, to stir up, excite, cause, induce, chase, pursue, or to put forth, or to sprout, or extend. Act, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. So, I want to begin by saying act is a product of a legislation body to animate, to convey an appearance of a, of a being. The Moore Science Temple itself is an act of a lot. An act of a lot is something like an act of nature, or something that happens in nature like a tornado or a hurricane. It's something that us as human beings, even if we try to interfere, interfere, interfere with it, is going to happen no matter what. So the more science temple is an act of a lot. These acts one through seven are acts of a lot. There are situations that we cannot avoid to uh, raise us from the muck and mire of a shallow grave. So, an act of Allah is a delightful event that takes place without the interference of man. It's, it's, it's act, an act of Allah is force. So, I'm going to draw off of uh, chapter 7, um, verses uh, 16, verse 16. Islam? Long. Islam. Long. It says, force is the will of Allah and omnipotent and power that it and power is that will and manifest directed by the breath. I want to also go to chapter 10 and read instructions 13 through 16. It says, Islam. Islam. It says, all people worship Allah, the one, but all people see him, from, see him not alike. The universal Allah is wisdom, will, and love. All men see the triune Allah. One sees him as Allah of the of might, another as Allah of thought, another as Allah of love. A man's ideal is his God. And so as man unfolds, his God unfolds. Man's God today, tomorrow is not God. So I want to also add that the four, the, uh, the more science temple is Allah's will and manifest. It's, it's, it's the force. Um, the more science temple is forced or acted upon by Allah's thoughts made flesh as Prophet Ju Ali in the form of uh, Allah's shepherd. Um, 
let's see. Okay. I'm going to go to key five, six, and seven. And this part, I'm dealing with Allah sending, um, sending an angel or shepherd to drive or conduct the more signs to me. It says, who is Noble Jali? He is Allah's prophet. Number six, it says, what is a prophet? A prophet is a thought of Allah manifested in the flesh. Number seven, what is the duty of a prophet? To save nations from the wrath of Allah. I want to skip to number 15. It says, for what purpose was the Moorish Science Temple of America founded? For the uplifting of fallen humanity. I'm going to also skip to question number 38. It says, what is an angel? Angel. Angel thought of the law manifesting in human flesh. Islam. Key, key 39, what is an angel used for? To carry messages to the four corners of the world to all nations. Key 40, what is our prophet to us? He is an angel of Allah who was sent to bring us the everlasting gospel of Allah. Key 41, what is the everlasting gospel? It is the saving power that comes from Allah through our ancient fathers by his prophet. Key 42. What is the covenant of the great God Allah? Honor thy father, thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the earth land which the Lord thy God Allah has given thee. And what age did Jesus begin to teach? At the age 12. So I want to um, reiterate that Allah is the driving force made manifest. So Allah's uh, force and manifest is the actual prophet. He is our gifts of understanding made manifest. So uh, the prophet is something that we actually couldn't stop. That's my point. My point is that the prophet is the act of Allah. Islam. Yeah, so basically that's, uh, that's, that was my point today is that uh, these acts are not, um, these acts are the driving force. These, this is the will of Allah made manifest. And these are the um, conditions that will raise us from the um, muck and mire of a, sh of a shallow grave. And these things promote discipline, whereas our people at the time when the prophet came, we had no discipline. We had no way to uh, build family. If, if we build from the ground up, we see that Act 7 is about family. So these acts are, an uh, act is something that's put into, um, put into manifestation by a lot that you can't stop, like a tornado. So family is Act 7. It's something that we can't stop. It's something that was in, enabled by Allah that's put into motion that's the driving force of, of, of where he wants his sheep to go. So Allah always sends a shepherd or a prophet to guide his people with the everlasting gospel, which is the saving power, which is when man gets debased or gets caught up into a world of duality, a prophet comes and, and re-demonstrates uh, the, uh, the omnipotence of Allah and man, which is that Allah and man are one. So, in um, that, in closing, I wanted to just read a, um, read the. Uh, I have an excerpt between different uh, disciplines, schools of thought, but it's basically the same thing about the golden rule of the cord that binds all to live in life. So I'm gonna start with uh, Christianity. Christianity's binding cord is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Buddhism's um, same remission of that is. Hurt not others in ways that you your, you yourself would not want. Would excuse me. Hurt not others in ways that you yourself will find hurtful. Judaism. It says, "What is hateful to you, do not to your fellow man." This is the entire law. In Islam, it says, "No one is a believer until he desires for his brother that which he desires for himself." In, uh, in the Vedic text, it says, Blessed is he who prefers his brother before himself. In Confucianism, in Confucianism, it says, Do not impose on others what you, what you yourself do not want imposed on you. Um, so. Basically, I just want to, uh, that was my, my lesson today, and I just want to close in saying that um, the more Science Temple itself is an act of a lot. It's something that we can't get in the way of. Whether you want to be a part of it or not, it's going to roll on with or without you. Um, and basically, I'm with it. Islam. Islam. Peace and love. Praise Allah.
أيام الصلاة الله أكبر